Good morning. So, today is Friday 23rd, 4th, something like that. I don't know, this month is flying by. I just realized next Sunday is 4th of July. Like, whoa, where did this year go, honey? I got, look, I got dirt on my... All right, so, uh, I'm gonna do a quick garden update of what I did today, because um, it's sort of important so that I remember. Um, so I pruned tomatoes, I pulled out and replanted some broccoli, and I planted a few peppers, um, eight. I was trying to get a dozen out, there just wasn't spacing. So we're just gonna wait. So um, I'm just gonna kind of go and show what I did there. And then I gotta go mow this lawn, do some chores. Chickens are doing fine. And I, I wanna do a video on our brooder and our chicken coop because it's awesome and I wanted to see that. So uh, let me go show what I did in the garden here and then I'm probably gonna make another video for that because honey, wouldn't that be fun to watch later? All right. Okay, so I was just pruning my tomatoes. Um, overall, they're looking really good, healthy. They're coming up well. A couple of them, I'm letting double vine. So you see that guy had a big sucker come off. We let him grow and um, I keep all the other suckers off though. So it'll just focus on those two. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Uh, on most of these, I just go through like our big guy here. Um, he, I finally just, trim the bottom leaves that were like here and here uh, he was starting to get some leaf roll and I think this is leaf roll I could be wrong uh, what I was reading the Rodale's uh, or encyclopedia for gardening and stuff was um, we've had a ton of water lately and so I'm thinking that's what that was but uh, you can see how long this stem is here um, and so as he gets a little taller we'll keep trimming off the bottom and, and keep his water flowing up but He's nice and thick stock. He's got really, really, he's got two sets of flowers in here. One and uh, the second one's coming out now. See him right there, there we go. Yep. Uh, so that's exciting. Um, and you know, just trying to keep them growing their main stock. Uh, this guy's flowering. And then those guys are, we'll see. <laughs> oh, and something I never talk about, our basil in here. So before we left, I didn't know where to put these. Um, so I threw some basil in, they said buy your tomatoes. Makes them taste better. Uh, the basil's awesome. I just, start, we, I let it grow and we just started picking like the two leaves and um, so like on this, uh, we'll pick off like this leaf and then this leaf and all the way down. And that way these two grow back as well as the two little ones that are coming in below it. And same on this stalk. So mm, fresh homegrown basil is just so good. And I've got some time down here. It's taking a lot of time. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know if it's going to make it or not. But uh, yeah, tomatoes are doing good. Cucumbers, as I'm going by them, I mean, you can see how well they're doing. They're all flowering. We have some little cucumbers. Hopefully, we got lots of germination. Um, but uh, this morning, what we did was some of my broccoli is like that guy's. Eh, I don't know, but some of them are that, you know, same age. So I was a little concerned, and then this guy's kind of wilting, I'm not sure. Uh, so some look okay, some don't. So what I did is I went over here, and the ones that look really bad, like like this guy, that's not a weed, that's a broccoli. He should probably come out. Uh, but he had some life looking to him, so I kind of left him. And I replaced them with ones like this that were growing in my greenhouse that I was able to re- rejuvenate in a sense with repotting on so and then down here we planted eight peppers um it's a mix because my peppers got all mixed up of course because i didn't label properly labels and spacing my big lessons this year uh so it's like i think there's kbc no there's no none of those there's some lady bells there's a uh, some cayenne uh hungarian wax and maybe some anaheim red or something like that I don't know. It's going to be fun to watch as they come up, though. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, kind of what we had done this morning. Tomato pruning, planted peppers, replanted some new broccoli. Hopefully they grow up nice. Everything over here is doing well. I'm, these things are, the leaves on them are delicious. We eat them in our salad. Uh, the stems are still pretty good, and they're flowering, which is beautiful in the garden, but also it brings a ton of butterflies. They were totally right. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that in the video before I had read it, 
and uh, it's so true there's just a bunch of butterflies I think in the last video we had that picture of that orange and black butterfly it was beautiful um, he was on the other side of the garden but still it's not far um, our cabbage the one cabbage I was told that I planted cabbage there was one in there and uh, it's growing well even on top of being on top of everything the big disappointment so far is my celery it's really tall but I've never grown celery so I have no idea but it's bitter it's just not even good and I don't know how long to leave it in there so we gotta do some more research on celery because I don't know um, this kale has been coming in well and it's been good um, yeah well kale's kale it's really supposed to be really nutritious um, these broccoli in here are getting big and out of control I was trying to leave maybe take a couple of these out here like these two um, here this next week uh, they're just taking a lot and um, I kind of want to give my other stuff some spacing so the spinach here is doing awesome some of it yes is going to seed I want to try to see how to get some seed out of this thing so I don't know if you wait until they flower or you cut it right before they flower. I gotta read that. Inter interestingly enough, now this is right out of my spinach. It's attached to my spinach leaves. This tastes like broccoli. Yeah, who knew? Um, whatever these things are, they're finally starting to flower. I'm, I'm telling you, I hope they're like zucchini or yellow neck squash. That would be awesome because they've been just a gift from God. They were in the horse compost that I bought. Of the seeds and they just sort of came up and they came up in a big way and healthy so this side was the ones that they came up elsewhere and I transplanted over here not realizing these were broccoli so now everything's gonna be on top of each other but it's healthy and uh, I'm gonna be making some compost tea soon and so that will help you know kind of help uh, everything stay nice and healthy um, see, I've, I've got some clover growing in. I've just been leaving the clover. I mean, it's just a nitrogen fixer, so I figure why not. But yeah, anyways, I don't want this to take too long, so. So that's what we did this morning. Um, we got some friends coming over tonight, Rick and Amy, looking forward to hanging out with them and uh, barbecuing and it's always fun when you get together with brothers and sisters in Christ, it just sort of always, uh, being able to talk the same language is, is great, you know, so. Um, but uh, as always, God bless you guys. Um, again, we couldn't have done this without the Lord, so thank you, God. We owe you everything. And being able to work in his creation and, and realize that he put me here to possibly work with my hands, learn the word, um, and, and let's, I don't know where the garden part's going of it, but we've got 11 and a half acres to grow into, so... God willing, we're going to put a plan together here and we're going to start our market garden next year. Uh, now that we know we can grow some more stuff. <laughs> so, all right. God bless. I love you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.